everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. How's everybody doing? Today is March 18th, 2020. We are past the halfway mark in March. I hope you're all having a great day. I uh, hope you all can hear me okay. I'm not sure if my Bluetooth earpiece is in or not. Uh, I've got to order a different piece for my uh, phone here. Anyway, I want to see how everybody's doing. Now, something I've been asked, and since it's 1.48, and I, this might usually when I'm working, but I'm on the road today, I'm going to explain a little bit about what I do. You don't have to listen if you don't want to. You don't have to even understand what I do. But the very, very, very first thing I want to let you know is that when I tell you you matter, I mean it, okay? I don't say it because, oh, I just, Jeff wants to tell somebody they matter. They don't. I'm actually telling you you matter because you're important, because everything we do is important. But remember this, the people around you are important also. Now, I was listening to something on the radio just a little bit ago, and it made a lot of sense, and it goes along with what I try to tell everybody. Your seed that you plant is important, but what's just as important is the dirt that you plant the seed in. So in other words, when I say when you go where you're welcome, go to where you're celebrated and avoid to where you're tolerated, it means go to where people are always gonna build you up. Go to where people believe in the same dreams you do. Go to where people may not understand what you're trying to do, but they're gonna encourage you to do it just the same. Hey Lynn, that's the whole point. Go to those that can encourage you. Now to me, I'm gonna tell you exactly who some of my mentors are. I got more than this, but I want you to understand that they're on a higher level than me. Not because they're better than me, not because they're more educated than me, but because they've been doing things a little bit longer, they have a little bit more patience, they understand a little bit more. So the first one I gotta give credit to is my dad, okay? Now my dad does not even understand anything I do or how I do it, but I choose to be around him because he's never given up on me. He always supported me in my dreams and he's always encouraged me to work hard for what I want, but if I get disappointed, I need to figure out what the problem is, adapt, overcome, and go again. My dad has always been there for me 100%, okay? So I want you to know that is one of the very first people that I ever in my life that's always encouraged me to do great. So of course, he, he celebrates me, and I love to be around him. Another one would be one of my mentors, Rich Ellerman. Rich in business, now, you got to understand, I know Rich outside of business. Years ago, when I was, and believe it or not, I actually started out with his wife, Penny, who was always extremely nice to me when I worked at McDonald's. And yes, I did work at McDonald's, and I'm proud to say I did. You know, even when I was a lifeguard, I worked breakfast at McDonald's and stuff, and his wife, Penny, was always super nice. Well, I never knew Rich was a Marine, and later on, when I was out of the Marine Corps, out of college, I came back home, and I was building... Uh, a new facility and Rich was helping me out at Lowe's so every single day I was around Rich not knowing that one day he was going to have a different type of impact on my life but as I was building the nightclub he always let me know yeah this is great you're going to want this hey now let me get you a discount here let me do a deal for you here let me help you out with this and that Rich was always always a great guy and he believed in me now, he didn't understand the nightclub business at all. He didn't understand the bar business, the entertainment business, the hospitality business, but he always supported me. So whenever I got around him, I loved going to Lowe's, okay, where he worked. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great people at Home Depot and Menards and stuff like that. Rich happened to work at Lowe's. He was not in the business. So later on, when he approached me, I was in the Marine Corps League with him. And he approached me about an idea. Now, this is not going over what I do. I'm just saying why Rich is one of my mentors. Why I go around him because he celebrates me, okay? Well, anyway, he saw, he didn't look at all the rumors and the gossip. He looked at me and was like, you know what? He's got some potential. He's got something that can benefit my life and I can benefit his. So when he saw me, he took a chance. And when he took that chance on me, Okay, I've been with Rich ever since, meaning he's one of my mentors, he's a great friend of mine. Him and his wife, I love beyond belief because they're just outstanding people. And then he went step one step further and helped me out spiritually with my religion and everything else. And he introduced me to another mentor of mine, which would be Father Trucker, which is Father Jim Wheeler. Okay, 
who celebrates what I do may not understand it, but knows that I put my heart into it, knows that I'm compassionate about the different things I do, the people I help, and how I get there. Now, if you notice a trend here, people start to introduce you to other people that will celebrate you. Every time I do something in the gym, Jim's making sure, hey Jeff, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Are you hitting your dreams? Are you hitting your goals? Are you there? What are you doing? Are you making sure you're okay? I don't understand what you do, but I love you and I know you need to get there. Hey Jeff, can you help me with this person here? Hey Jeff, are you okay? Are you okay? I wanna make sure you're okay, because you're awesome. These people, Rich calls me throughout the week, he makes sure I'm okay. Now other people that celebrate me, and I love to celebrate them, would be people like Jesus and Melissa Delgado, okay? I'm Marines with Jesus, but Melissa's got the heart of an angel, you know, because, well, first off, she got to deal with Jesus. Jesus being one of my best friends and all. But the thing about it is they have children with other people and together, and they come together and make this outstanding family. But I know for a fact they're always celebrating me. They're always talking good about me. Now all of a sudden that rose rumors and gossip and drama that were going on for so long have disappeared. Why? Because I chose to get around the people that support me, that celebrate me. Andy Moore's another one with this beautiful little girl, you okay? Now another person is my daughter. I'm her dad and she looks up to me and she knows I'm gonna do the right thing for the right reason, for the right way because of her. I became a role model for my little girl, but she celebrates me. So these are people I choose to get around, okay? Now, start working outside of that. I just left a good friend of mine, Scott Lewis, who has him and his beautiful wife, Lynette, they have everything you can imagine. They have everything you want. They worked hard for it, don't ever get me wrong. And he owns Winning Technologies, and no, he does not do my business with me, but he owns a business, and you know what? He asked me how I am. He asked me, how, how's it going? Jeff, have you gone and seen your sister? Have you went over there? Have you done this? Are you doing okay? How's everything going? This guy that has everything is more worried about my life than I'm worried about my life. And he takes care of everything like that. So we go over celebrated and we avoid those that just tolerate us to tolerate us, okay? Now I've had friends in the past where they knew me in the bar business, in the nightclub business, and problem is when I was no longer on top they no longer were my friends they were just oh well I knew he's gonna do that all right you know that's no those are not the people you want to get around the people that are dragging others under and they're using you to help support dragging other people under they're not there to help you or celebrate you they're there because you give them a platform to basically be mean to basically you know people that are addicts and people that have problems cannot help other people that are addicts and problems. Why? Because they're too busy feeding off of each other. They're not celebrating each other, they're feeding off each other. So we need to always learn to go where people celebrate us. Sometimes that means we gotta get around people that are completely different than we are in order to get around those great people. Now another one would be Brian Crothers. When I get around him, he always has positive things to say. He always makes it very clear. I don't care if you're doing good or bad or anything else in life, but if you're being a good person and you're around me, I'm going to celebrate you. I'm going to give you the advice, whether, you know, he doesn't charge for it. He's just a friend. If I were to call him today, I guarantee you, he will call me back. And I guarantee you, his, his beautiful wife, Melissa, you know, would call me back. She's always thinking about my daughter, asking how I am, whether I'm doing good in business or bad, he's there to help me out. So I took it one step further people that celebrate us, that mean with business. So instead, I started talking to people that have nothing to do with my business, within the same business as me, such as Chris Hughes. He always answers me, always talks to me, calls me up, says hi to me, always asking how I'm doing, making sure I'm okay. Wow, that's pretty awesome. You know, to other people. So then I started getting outside in my own community again when I started wanting to reach back out. And I started seeing that there's a lot of great people out there they don't want anything other than, hey, how you doing? You okay? Yes, I am. Those people celebrate me and I celebrate them. Together, I started learning to celebrate other people. Why? Because it means the world to me when I'm talking good about somebody. It means the world when I show people the best in somebody. Now, some people don't always understand that, especially when I start, you know, me and Jesus will rag each other, or my buddy Chris Benner, okay? We may have different jokes, but here's just it. 
in the Marine Corps language that is being great to each other, that is talking positive, because we're giving each other our time. And I think military members, and I know people will argue with me on this one, they know that time is the best gift you can ever give anybody. You can never get it back. You can always get money, you can lose money. You can always get possessions, you can lose possessions. But you can never get time back. So when we sit there and we celebrate each other, when we sit there and we talk good about each other, it's not about religion. It's not about, you know, trying to kiss butt or anything like that. You know what it's about? It's about being kind to those that are kind to you. It's about celebrating those that you know for a fact they're successful because they're great to other people. I got a buddy when I was down, Sam Johnson. I've heard gossip and rumors and stuff like that, you know, for years because he's been a successful person in life. However, when I was on top, he was a friend of mine. When I was on the bottom, he reached down and picked me up and said, how you doing? You okay? You doing okay? Hey man, you're awesome. I just want you to know, Jeff, you're going to be on top again. I just want you to know you're great. And that's my buddy Sam Johnson. So every time I get around him, you know what? I have to be because I just think the world of him. You know, there's another guy and I, and I get so tired because they work in the hospitality industry and I understand that people that are taking advantage of the hospital, meaning you're drinking or eating there, there's a lot of naysayers. And I got a really good friend, uh, Gabe McCain, M McLean, okay? And now I'm not dro name dropping, but what happened was, you know, here you got guys in there, and you. but you want to know something? I get around him at the Soapbox Derby. I see him with the little ones and these kids, and he's one of the nicest, greatest guys you could ever meet. I've never done anything for him. He's never done anything for me. But I tell you what, I see what he gets like when he's around kids and when he's out, not in, like, working and stuff. I see how hard he works every single day, and that makes me always want to talk good about him because I see people that work hard like my dad. My dad, his entire life, worked in a factory on a paint line, never worked, missed work, never called in sick, worked even when he was sick because he had to put food on the table for the family, never talked bad about anybody. Why? Because I saw what my grandma would do to any of my aunts and uncles if you talked bad. Everyone's a friend until proven otherwise. Everybody is a good person. You must give people a chance. You got to talk good. If you have something bad to say about somebody, get away from them. And then I realized that some of the people that celebrated me the most were the same ones that taught me always talk good about people always be there for people always be reliable be on time be courteous be considerate if people are negative get away from them and that's my grandma's now why am i talking about this today why am i saying all this because i planted my seed in good dirt however there were times when i was down and depressed and i got around the wrong people i got around people that misery loves company and I was wrong for doing that. I got a great friend of mine. He's on there right now that I can tell you all kinds of great stuff about. Uh, Ron Buckley. I tell you what, he is probably one of the nicest guys you could ever meet in your life, right? And I met him through Legal Shield and I met him through other people. And you know, here I see a guy that gives to others more than he gives to himself. And he doesn't like to talk bad about people. He's always got something nice to say. He's, he likes to joke around. He's a friendly guy. He's been through hell and back in life. And he's still a great guy. And he still talks great about people. He doesn't judge anyone. But instead, he builds them up. So when I say go where you're celebrating, go around people that they've, they've, got, they've had dreams and they've been successful getting there. They've been... Up. You got to get people that are on another level than you so you can make it to that level. Go around people that can pull you up. Get around those that want to be pulled up. And you see a thing here? You can't get on top without other people. You know that old saying? You know, my dad is a giant in my life. He let me stand on his shoulders when no one else wanted to give me the time of day. My grandmother's had me stand on their shoulders so I could see farther than them and let them know what's out there when they could no longer see. The people that raise you up, the people that put you on their shoulders, the people that celebrate you and not just tolerate you are the ones you need to get around. Those are the ones where all of a sudden that depression in your life, that PTSD in your life starts to go away or it starts to basically be covered up by good dirt. I tell people all the time, I'm thankful for the failures of my life. 
they helped me grow as a person. I'm thankful for the disappointments I've had in my life. They helped me go a different direction. I am thankful for the failures I've had because they allowed me to go bigger and better than what I've ever been. I may have lost out on one dream because there was another bigger dream waiting for me. Right now, my dreams sometimes in my life, I can't see anymore because they've gotten so big and I've accomplished so much and I'm just getting started. I see people in my business, some of them are good, some of them are bad. I'm just being flat out honest with you. I see people, they don't wanna build, they don't wanna succeed, so, so they hurry up and try to take from others. They use God and religion as an excuse. Then I see people that are not religious that are some of the most faithful people in the world. I see some of the most God-fearing people give everything of themselves and ask nothing, but they have everything. And I, I always wanna be more like them. As Father always tells me, Jeff, we're all broken people. And as I tell him, when we forgive people, we can never bring up that subject again because once you forgive someone, it's over, it's done. No hostility, no remorse, no points added or taken away. When you forgive somebody, the jokes are done. The I'm gonna tell you this is done. And it's funny because I got mad because I started thinking about that. When we forgive somebody, no matter what the reason, and all of a sudden, say a year or two years later, they're bringing up, hey, remember when I did such and such? Then you didn't forgive them. When we forgive somebody, that means we have to let it go. No matter what it is, no matter where it's coming from, to forgive is divine. You must forgive. It's not about religion. It's not about a faith. It's about being a better person, getting around those that celebrate you, and getting away from those that tolerate you. It's about getting around people with dreams. Now, Mike Rowe said it best, and this came from Mike Rowe, if you all know Dirty Jobs, okay? Not every dream, not every person should go after their dreams. Just stating the fact, because you're not gonna get it. You need to have the ability first. You need to put in the work, the time. You need to put in the effort. You need to be in that position to learn it you got to have the desire to do it and you got to get the education to do it first. Once you have the once you have the education, once you have the desire, the dream will come. But you got to work towards the dream in order to make it come because you know what? I can tell you right now, I want to be president of the United States. I got a dream, I got an ability. I don't have the know-how. Okay? I don't have the resources. And I'm not going to go out and build those resources because it's, it's just because I want to be it doesn't mean that's what I'm going to be. But you want to know something? I can get financially free. I can take trips. I can get vehicles, you know, possession, whatever. I'm not all about possessions though. I can be there for more people. I can do more and I can be more by doing the right thing for the right reason. Getting around those that celebrate me and teach me. See, those that celebrate you are also the same ones that are going to be honest with you. They're going to be the ones that are going to tell you facts of things. If you're dreaming. Now, I, I did have one person upset me one time. And believe it or not, I don't get around that person too much anymore with what I do. They were like, oh, Jeff, you know, goals are stupid. You should never set goals. You should never do that because you're just setting yourself up for failure. No, you're wrong. you got to have goals, but you got to use common sense. Okay? and logic when you're using goals. Why you cannot sit there and set your goals so high you're never gonna reach them, but you can't set them so low that you can surpass them. You gotta put your goals in the gray area. Large to where, man, I can't see it, but I can feel it. And you can eventually achieve it. And then you gotta get around those people that celebrate you and ask them, is this goal right for me? And you need somebody else to let you know if it's gonna be too big for you. Meaning, look, you can do it, but here's how you're gonna get there. Are you willing to do this, this, and this? Or are you gonna just fail because you set yourself up to fail? Because it was too big. You gotta use logic and common sense. But those people that celebrate you will let you know. Those that only tolerate you don't care. They don't care where you're at in life. Unless you're buying them drinks, or unless you're doing something for them, they don't care about you. You must 
have a happy medium. And that, my friends, is where you need to be in life. Tell people that you care about them. Tell them you love them. Call them out of the blue. Because, and mean it when you say it. I will never say anything I do not mean. I will never get around people that they do not care. If you see me out and about, you know that what I'm doing is I'm getting around those that will always celebrate each other, those that build on dreams, those that build on dedication. People can get whatever they want, but if you're around the same people every day and it's bad soil, meaning they only tolerate you, they do the same thing, they're not trying to give you advice, they're not trying to help you, guess what? You're in the land of nowhere because you're going nowhere with the same people. And believe it or not, if you love those people but they don't love you back, eventually if they love you, they're gonna ask you, how can I get where you're at? And then you can help them up. But right now, find those that are gonna pull you up, find them that are gonna help you up. Get around the good soil in life. Plant your seed in a good soil. Because if you throw it on the rocks, it's not gonna grow. If you throw it in the dead soil, it's dry, it has no moisture, no fertilizer. You're not gonna grow and you're gonna go nowhere. Get around people that are willing to take you, with, take you with them. Get around people that say, yeah, you can follow me, you can watch me, uh, but guess what? If you fall, I'll help you up. I'm not gonna give you money. I may give you advice. I may give you a little coaching, but you gotta do it on your own. But guess what? I'm gonna support you the whole way through. I'm gonna be there for you. I'm not gonna judge you by your failures. In fact, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna wish more and more failure upon you, not because I hate you, but because I love you. The more failures you have, the more you're gonna to learn to when you have the success finally in your life, it's worth celebrating. Trust fund babies, people that had money given to them, business given to them because they were left in a will or something. The reason why they fail is because they never took the long way around. The short way gets us nowhere. The, what, you know what? Our high school friends are not the people that are gonna help us get to where we need to be. Sitting in the bar every night, drinking a beer, is not gonna get you where you need to be. Where You know what's gonna get you where you need to be? People that you look up to. People that you say, hey, how'd you get here? Hey, what are you doing today? Hey, will you show me? Hey, can I ride along with you? Hey, can you tell me a little advice? Hey, what's a good college class? Hey, you're a professor, can you teach me this? Getting around the right people, that's where you're gonna excel in your life. And sometimes it's just people to let you know, hey, you're awesome, I'm a better person for knowing you. So today, learn this. Go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. Plant your seed in good soil. Listen to stuff that's gonna benefit you. Turn off the news. Turn off all the hate speech. Turn off all the, the stuff where people are trying to bring you down trying to keep you in your little zone. Sometimes we have to get away from family because family will be some of the worst people around us because you know why? They, they're scared for us. They want us to succeed so they're the biggest negatives in our life because they don't want us to fail. But sometimes that's what we have to do in order to succeed, we have to fail. Don't let failure stop you. Let failure become another stone that you step on to get out of the hole that you're in. And eventually, as you're climbing up out of the hole, now you can throw stones down to help other people up. Go with the people that throw stones down for stepping and not throw stones to keep to hurt you. Every day in life, you need to basically fight, fight, fight. Every day in life, you gotta judge the people that you're around. If they're good for you, or if they're there just there. I will drive thousands of miles to get around people that celebrate me in order to build myself up. And I will build them up. And if they need me, I'll be there for them in some way, shape, or form. But I promise you this, I'm not gonna let them down. People that just are tolerated, we don't care. And guess what, that's how they feel about you. If they only tolerate you, they're not gonna be there. Get around people that love you. Get around people that are gonna build you. Get around people that believe in your dreams and your success and that are gonna give you logic, that are gonna give you that helpful advice. But they're not gonna hold you down. They're gonna encourage you to live outside your box. 
if you can't do that and you complain every single day, then you need to get around new people. Every day that you're around people that don't celebrate you, you need to get rid of them and get around people that are going to celebrate you. I can tell you right now, I guarantee you, I have avoided more people that just tolerate me and the ones that laugh at me, they tolerate me, I'll just, but they don't know who I am. So they don't know what my potential is. And that way, I can get around those that believe in my potential, that believe in who I am. People like my dad may not understand what I do, but they support what I do. They believe in what I do, and they encourage me to push harder, even if they have no clue what I'm doing. Those are the people you need to be around. Your age is but a number. Time is but a time. We need to always push forward, but it doesn't matter how old you are. That's why I tell people, it doesn't matter about what your sexuality is. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. It doesn't matter what your religion is, your creed, your culture, your customs. None of that stuff matters if you got a dream to build upon. But a lot of people, they just say, oh, I want to do this, and they do nothing to get there. Nothing. And then they get around the same people like, yep, I know it's your dream. Yeah, are you going to help them get there? No. I have gone off on people before, and I may be a little rough on them, because here they tell me what they want to do, and then they wasted my time because they refuse to go do anything about it. They don't want to work on their own. They don't want to see the potential. I've wasted money on people that don't want, they, they just take advantage. But guess what, it's okay, I'll do it again and again and again. Because I'm, there's only a few people that are gonna blossom. But I'm always gonna count and believe in people, even when they don't believe in themselves. If you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you. You matter. You're important. But do not come at people expecting a free handout. That's tolerating. Do not ask for people for money. That's tolerating. you got to get around people that are successful. you got to get around people that celebrate you. And they will help build you up. They will help pull you up. You can't get to the top without somebody pulling you up. That's where we all start from. You may think, oh, I get there, I'll build. No, you won't. You know why? You need help. We all need help. We all need people to help us get there. We all need to be built up. Yes, we're going to stumble and fall. Yes, every one of us is going to have failure. Just like Father always told me. We are all broken people. But guess what? That doesn't mean we're down and out. It just means we got to keep pushing harder to fix ourselves. But some people giving up. Some people steal time. Some people get where misery's at. Addicts feed on addicts. Misery feeds on misery. You know, you gotta get away from those people. You gotta be better. The people I talk to, some are lower than me, some are average, some are right in the middle. But they all celebrate me and I celebrate them. And I'll celebrate each and every one of you. There's not a Marine Corps, there's not a Marine alive that I have not served with that I would not celebrate because I know they went through hell and back. I know they were broken and they're freaking awesome. If you want to know why I celebrate the Marines I served with, because I know what they went through. But guess what? They pushed themselves every single day. They may give up on themselves now, but I've never given up on them. And you're like, well, no, no, because their potential, they did what others would not. Why do I go after military and veterans? Because they pushed the limits when others do not. You know, you'll see a thing, shoulda, coulda, woulda. I was going to join the military, I was going to do this. What do you do now? Nothing. Can I borrow some money? No. Will you buy me a drink? No. You want to go have some beers tonight and smoke some wheat? No. I don't do this stuff because I don't believe it. And I don't do this stuff because it's a waste of my time. It's a waste of my potential. It's a waste of moving to the top. Sometimes it may be some people, what their goal is, they want to help more people. They want to feed more kids. They want to get more books. They want more kids to learn how to read. They want to help more veterans. Great, those are achievable goals. Help enough people get what they want, Zig Ziglar has always said. And they'll help you get what you want. All right, everybody, my name is Jeffrey Jansen. Thanks for all for spending time with me today. I think the world of each and every one of you. I think that you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. Have reasonable goals. Set your logic in the right motion. Stay away from misery. Go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. And every day, if somebody's doing good for you, do good for them. Say good things. And if you find yourself talking bad about somebody, you need to shut up right away, 
and move on and then start finding good to talk about them because that's what they're going to do about you. And if they don't, you're not around them anyway, so who cares? Be great. You are great. Have a great day.